you know, we moved down to Houston about six years ago and, uh, you know, how we decided to start the group. One of the things that was important for us coming down here was was having God in our lives that way, right? And sharing experiences with other people and, and living life with others. We frequently went to CrossFit gym a lot and you click with people pretty quick. God laid it on our hearts to potentially start a group and so that's where we just started talking about, hey, like, this could be a chance for us to kind of just get these people in without them feeling nervous about trying to find a group where they didn't know anybody. You know, the gym is, is a humbling place, right? Like, and, and the workouts that we're doing there are high intensity interval training. When you go out there, you put everything you have out on the line. And what's great about it and the communities that you build there is that you have other people that know uh, all that you're going through, all the things that you've laid out to prepare for this, and they're cheering you on, and then they know the pain that you're in. And so like, as you think about friendships and you think about you know, what God has called us into, it's very similar. Like He knows us when we're at our best and He knows us when we're at our worst and He loves us the same. And it's just so awesome to have other folks there to be able to do life with like this. You know, some weeks and workouts are better than others. <laughs> um, you know, no, no different than life. Uh, but it's awesome knowing that you have people that care about you there with you. After we kind of talked about it, Heather started talking to some of the girls uh, from the gym and her friends, and they were like, yeah, it would be really cool if we got into a Bible study. And really, like, it was kind of scary because you always wonder, like, you know, are people going to think of me differently or how, they, maybe they'll look at me differently in a different light, you know, but at the end of it, it was really awesome to see how many people were like, oh my God, I've been wanting this. I think they see that not only do we work hard, work out hard, put our all into it, but they also see something different in us and they are wondering, what is that that is different? When we looked around and we saw all of these rich friendships that we were beginning and starting and had, I mean, God just really laid it on our hearts to say, hey, this is who you do life with. Like, why are you looking anywhere else? So a typical meeting for us, uh, we just come in um, and we just catch up on life, um, hang out and talk. Um, there's always food when we meet. We gather around the kitchen, um, and that's where we sit, and we eat, and we talk. We talk about God, we pray, we talk about ups and downs during the week. We do a lot of laughing. Laughter, you know here, laughter is the best medicine. You know, enjoy each other's company, because that's what we're here for. If God has laid it on your heart to, to go all in with, with a group of people, God is inviting you into His playground, right? Like, how awesome is it that God has put these people in your lives, ordained where you lived, ordained where you work, you know, uh, formulated your life in such a way that these people are, are, are pressing into your life and you're pressing into their life and it's the effectual call of the Holy Spirit to go play in God's playground. And how much more rich and meaningful could life be, not for yourself but with others, when you can know people, be fully known and be loved by one another. So go play. Just go play.